you are given two points and you want to calculate the distance between them in Python. So first, let us understand how the distance between two points is calculated mathematically and then we'll go ahead and uh, implement them in Python. So generally, when we talk about the distance between two points, for example, let's say we have two two dimensional points x1 and y1, x2 and y2. Generally, the difference between these two points is referred to as the Euclidean distance, which is basically the direct distance from these two points, from x1 and x1, y1 to x2, y2. Now, to calculate this distance, we basically compute the sum of square differences between the corresponding coordinates and then take the uh, square root of that value. For example, here we are calculating the difference between x1 and x2 and taking the square of this and we similarly calculate the difference between the y coordinates, take the square of this and this sum will give us the sum of squared uh, differences between these two values and ultimately we'll take the square root which will give us the distance between these two values. Now, we can extend this formula to higher dimensions as well. For example, you have x in three dimension. So, we'll add sum of square differences in the z coordinates. That is, we'll add 1 minus 2 square to this sum and then we'll take this square root. So, the generalized formula to calculate the Euclidean distance comes out to be this for points in n dimension. Uh, there are other uh, distances as well that are used in specific circumstances. For example, there is a distance called Manhattan distance in which we only take the sum of absolute differences and do not square them. But those distances are specific to specific use cases. And generally, when it comes, when we talk about distances between two points, we generally refer to the Euclidean distance. Now, let's see how we'll calculate the distance between two points in Python. So, for example, let's say we have these two points, point A and point B, which have, which are, which are in two dimensions only, x and y. So, we can directly apply the function above. So, we'll use the double star operator as the exponent operator. And we are first calculating the sum of square differences between the corresponding coordinates. And then we'll, we are finally taking the square root by uh, taking the exponent with 0 0.5. So if I execute this code, you'll see that we get the distance between these two points as 5.0. As 5 now, uh, so this function, this specific formula only works for points in two dimension. What if you have points in higher dimension, let's say n dimensions. So we can write our own custom function as well. And there are of the shelf implementations available in Python through libraries that you can also use. So let's go through them one by one. So here we have written a get distance function which basically calculates first the sum of square differences between the uh, corresponding coordinates of the points. For example, let's say you have these two points in three dimension, two, three, and six, and five, seven, and one. So what this function essentially does is that it iterates through these two uh, tuples uh, but for each of the cat, uh, coordinate uh, simultaneously. So for example, we'll iterate, in the first iteration, we'll get 2 and 5. In the second iteration, we'll get 3 and 7. In the third iteration, we'll get 6 and 1. So what this basically does is that it calculates the differences between these two corresponding coordinates, squares them, and adds that value to this particular variable. Now, once this operation is done, once we have iterated through the corresponding pairs, we take the square root of the resulting sum of square differences and return the value as the, uh, the distance between these two values, between these two points. So if I execute this code, you can see we get the distance between these two points as 7.07. .07. Now, this was our own native implementation of calculating distances between two points in n dimensions. But there are of the shelf implementations as well that you can directly use without having to write your own function. And generally, these implementations are more uh, optimized when it comes to calculating the Euclidean distance. So, for example, you can use the math library's dist function to calculate the distance between the two points. So, if I use the same two points as above, you can see we get the same result, 7.07. .07. You can similarly use the NumPy libraries linalg function. Uh, so the NumPy library in Python is generally used to work with 
and manipulate arrays and has a number of useful functions to perform linear algebra and other operations on those arrays. So let's say we have the same two points, but this time as NumPy arrays. And then you want to calculate the Euclidean distance. Okay. So use the numpy.linalg.norm function, which will calculate the L2 norm, which is the Euclidean distance. So we pass A minus B as the argument here, and we get the result as the dis Euclidean distance between these two points, A and B. You can see that we get the same result as above. You can also use the scipy library in Python, which is used for scientific computations. Uh, from the scipy.spatial module, import the distance function. And use the distance.euclidean function to calculate the Euclidean distance between the points A and B. And if I execute this, you can see that we get the same result as above. So, in this tutorial, we looked at how we can calculate distance between two points in Python. We saw our own custom implementation of a distance function. And then we also saw some of the off-the-shelf implementations using already available libraries in Python, such as the math library, the numpy library, and the scipy library.